Number 1. Billy Goats. Poznan's town hall stands dominant on its cobbled old market square. At 12 p.m. daily, crowds gather to watch two mechanical billy goats appear and lock horns. Legend has it that a chef took his eye off the venison dinner he was cooking and headed out to find a replacement meat, where he found two grazing goats. The goats wrangled out of his grasp, ran up the clock tower and began butting each other in front of a crowd, much like today. Number 2. Citadel Park. Citadel Park is a sprawling oasis on the outskirts of the city center. Here, you'll find calming water features, cool cafes, botanical gardens, and even a 19th century fort and museum, Citadela. If that's not enough, there's also an outdoor amphitheater that showcases live events and, of course, plenty of green space perfect for a picnic. Sit back and relax. Number 3. The New Zoo. One of the largest zoological parks in Europe, Poznan's New Zoo provides a ginormous abode for its exotic residents. Its forest-like habitat is perfect for many of its larger animals, like elephants and giraffes, who roam more freely than those in standard-sized zoos. For little legs, a land train is on hand to zoom you around exhibits including the Hall of Nocturnal Animals, home to sloths, armadillos, lorises, and more. Number 4. Este. Stanislaus, the bishop and martyr. Tucked away off the old market square is the almost hidden church of Ste. Stanislaus, the bishop and martyr. Although it is partially obscured by the surrounding buildings, this beautiful church is one of Poland's finest examples of Baroque architecture and took almost 50 years to build. Inside, stunning decorations fill every corner, while its showpiece is a lofty organ, made in 1856. It consists of 2,579 pipes and sits proudly above the entrance. Number 5. Croissant Museum. Leave your preconceptions at the door. The Croissant Museum is not a bland museum about croissants. It is, in fact, a fun, interactive way to spend an afternoon making croissants. However, these aren't just any croissants you'll be making, these see. Martin's croissant is a Poznan speciality, oozing with a Moorish white poppy seed and almond filling. Want more? You can also get your croissant fix at one of the many hole-in-the-wall style takeouts in the city. Number 6. Lake Malta. Poznan isn't short on bodies of water, but Lake Malta is probably its most enjoyed. Located in the east of the city, this artificial lake is utilized all year round from rowing and mini-golf in the summer to ice skating and skiing in the winter. Poznan's new zoo is also nearby. Number 7. Steri Browar. Housed within a former brewery, Steri Browar is a unique shopping center and arts space in the heart of Poznan. Here, there are more than 200 shops, a dozen restaurants and cafes, an exhibition center and concert hall, galleries, a hotel, and a music club, among other things. The center has been painstakingly renovated in line with the 19th-century run Bogenstil architecture of the brewers who occupied the site between 1876 and 1980. Number 8. Imperial Castle. Now a cultural hub with a museum, cinema and theater, Poznan's Imperial Castle has a lot of tales to tell. It was built in 1910 for German Emperor William II, before being taken back by Poland in 1918 and lost once again in 1939 during Nazi Germany's invasion, when it became Adolf Hitler's residence. The city's university took control of it after the war, and since 1962 it has been a thriving cultural center. Entry is free, with bookable guided tours available. Number 9. Kupala Night. Kupala Night is a Slavic summer solstice event that takes place from the 23rd to the 24th of June each year, with celebrations including many pagan rituals and traditions. On the night preceding the holiday, younger citizens are encouraged to partake in good-humored mischief, with children partaking in pranks and water fights on Kupala Day itself. In previous Poznan Kupala celebrations, up to 11,000 lanterns have illuminated the night sky. Number 10. Cathedral Island. Despite its name, 
Cathedral Island is not actually an island, it was the starting point of Poznan as a city. Poznan Cathedral, the oldest cathedral in Poland, dates back to the 10th century and is the area's centerpiece. Around it, you'll find galleries, cafes and museums. Think of it as the hipster part of town. Tip, rent a lime scooter from the city center and glide your way across the Bolslaw Krobry Bridge towards the cathedral. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.